Hey guys, Dogum Rocks here. Welcome to another episode of my test world. And in this episode, I am really excited. Well, the reason for that is because I updated Minecraft version 1.4. Yes, I'm a little bit late on the update, unfortunately. That's because my computer wasn't working for some time, but now it is. Um, yeah, so I was really excited about 1.4. Um, not because of anything, but be, well, there were a lot of things I was excited about. For example, the wither, that was kind of cool, yeah, new mob boss. The witches, I'm not really um, certain about. Slime spawning uh, in swamp biomes, that was really exciting because now I can finally get some stupid slime balls instead of having to dig down way into Minecraft. And the best thing I was excited about was this little gizmo right here yes this is the command block and I was really excited about this because uh, the first time I saw the command block I had a bunch of great ideas and here is one of them so this is basically wireless redstone using command blocks so there's a small um, stadium up there that stadium is surrounded by um, red redstone lamps uh, and the stadium is not connected to the ground in any way so now I want to turn on these lamps, but I got to do it from down here. So just to show you that I'm not cheating, I'm just going to switch to survival mode. And this button, I'm going to hit it, and there you go, the lamps are now on. And if I want to turn them off, there you go, they turn off. So, yeah, so here's how I figured this out. Well, first of all, uh, wireless redstone. Now, hmm, how does that work? So it's basically this. There is the input. I think it's called the input. And then there is the receiver. And for the receiver, I'm going to place this one backwards with a piece of redstone dust. Um, so yeah. basically what happens here is this is the... I can't remember the name. I, I'm just going to call it the input. Uh, yeah, it's gonna send a wireless signal over to this and this is basically the receiver it receives that power like that so what I want is when the input is powered the receiver receives that power over a lot a large distance wirelessly now in previous days in Minecraft they used to try to kind of do that with um, stairs and <coughs> and glass panes and uh, what do you call that stuff uh, I, can't, I can't remember uh, what was it called I think it was called um, wait, uh, oh yeah. iron bars iron bars so they used those things to do wireless redstone and the reason they used that was because they are they had very irregular hitboxes that constantly update so they used that method to create wireless redstone but it wasn't that efficient uh, because it could cause lag because it relies on a small piston system it causes lag and um, that thing, uh, like if you send a signal to one of your inputs, all the outputs are going to turn on. So, and yeah, that was something like that. So I needed a way to figure out to send a wireless signal from this one to this one. And then I told myself, hey, did this, does this have to be a signal? Why can't it be anything else like an item? What if you could send an item and convert that power into redstone signal? Then I realized, Hey, with the new command box, you can send the player. So that's exactly what this does. So when I hit this button, this command block has a teleportation command in it, and it's going to teleport me into this box. So just ignore those buttons. That I just placed them there. So when I come inside this box, I'm going to step on this press plate, and as you can see, there's another command uh, command block inside there, and it's going to teleport me right here it's going to tell me teleport me right back here so how do the lights turn on and off well easy i step on the pressure plate and i'm instantly teleported right there but i step on the pressure plate it causes uh, a one tick uh what do you call this oh my god i'm forgetting names um a one tick pulse limiter that causes this piston to go up which causes this sand rise thus powering this um these redstone lamps so yeah, it's like a toggle. So uh, like, so it's really instant. That's what I like about it. Like, the moment I press this button, I get teleported all the way up there, and then I get quickly teleported all the way up there. So you can't even see what's happening. So yeah, it's so fast. 
Yeah, but you get a glimpse of these redstone lamps or the redstone wire because uh, you're traveling so fast. And you want to seal this off. The thing is, um, you want to make this about three blocks high and you, you want to seal this off. The reason why not making two blocks because when you teleport it here, you're actually here floating one block above the air. So if you put a block there, you're going to suffocate, but not for long because you're stepping on the pressure plate. Um, yeah, so... Oh, yeah. Okay, so what happened right there? That was another thing I was going to tell you. If you're flying, this isn't going to work at all. So if I'm flying, I'll get teleported, and I'm still flying. And you can see the pressure plate right there. Uh, let me just... If I turn up the brightness, you can see the pressure plate right there. Oh, too bright, too bright. Ah, oh, there we go. So I updated my Optifine and everything, and that too. Okay, so that's how that works. So wireless redstone. And the thing is, you, mm, unlike this one, you can have a bunch of uh, inputs and receivers, and you can connect them any way you like. The problem with the earlier versions were like one if you power one input all the outputs are going to be powered okay so that's that and now this mysterious pressure plate is my next invention so this is what I basically call a jail cell and you'll see that why in a minute and I'm going to step on this pressure plate and now I am in jail not convinced okay I'm going to try to escape I cannot escape. See, I'm running. Ah, help! Help! So it's no use. But if I'm on creative mode, then I can. Yeah, there you go. I can fight the current. So, how does that work? Oops! Ah, shit! Ah, oh god! Ah. Oof! What is wrong with me? Uh, oh my god, dope. Okay, so here's the circuit. So when I step on this pressure plate, it's gonna cause this torch to turn off. When I get off the, uh, oh sorry, when I step on the pressure plate, it's gonna t turn the torch off. Wait, did I, s I'm pretty sure I said that, okay, whatever. So it turns, turns the torch off, and if I try to get off the pressure plate, then the torch teleports me right back here. Nah, I'm just kidding, there's a command block right here. See, uh, and this command block is actually set to teleport me all the way back to this pressure plate. So once, oops, fail. What the hell? Huh? Uh oh, it's a stone pressure plate. So I'll show you. Once I step on this pressure plate, that signal turns off. The moment I try to run away, the signal comes back. It powers the um, <coughs> command block and sends me right back so if you're in survival mode basically no escape from this um, other than you could break the pressure plate but then uh, you just go to adventure mode then you won't be able to break anything you can play stuff though yeah but that's not gonna do anything yep absolutely nothing at all so yeah this is like a cool jail cell you could use this on servers I guess so the thing about creative mode is if you're flying and it teleports you all the way back remember this instant where I was floating about the pressure plate same thing here if I'm flying and the pressure plate turns off the torch will power this and I'll get teleported back but I'll be floating on top of this so I'm not pressing it so I can fly away yeah but I'm pretty sure the map makers aren't gonna give you creative mode <laughs> okay so yeah that was pretty much it for this test world i think this was the longest episode i did uh, i'm not that sure anyway guys some thanks for watching and if you're wondering cnb's 4x4 piston door thingy uh, it's kind of cool so yeah thanks for watching this week's test world i will see you guys some other day oh that's cool